The following segment is sponsored by Crisp and Green. Welcome to Fresh it Off the Set. I'm Carrie Hawker Diaz. And I'm Brooke Mangum. Thank you so much for joining us for another exciting episode today. We're going to have some fun today, Carrie. We're going to have some fun. Okay, I have a question for you. Instagram. When did you first open your account? I am a grandmother of Instagram. I actually looked it up because I was curious when Instagram started. And it's October 6, 2010. And I think I started mine like 2010, like January. So I was like brand, brand new, like OG. What about you? Places, I think it say. was right well, around then. It might have been me, early 2011, really so maybe right after touch, that. So but we are, are we Instagrammers? Yes. Yeah. Grandmothers? Yeah. Instagrammers? Instagrammer grandmothers. <laughs> like, I remember the days when you would use really, the filters really that were in the that app. You can't just yeah. make Balenciaga made you look tan, Exo Pro, or whatever it was. Nobody knows anymore, but this this was it. There wasn't even stories or reels. It was just a picture, and you posted it. And that's what it was about. I mean, algorithm, that wasn't even, we didn't even know what that meant. No, and it was no business aspect aspect of it when I remember starting my Instagram there was no I even like the idea of making money off of being a social influencer that wasn't even a thing it was you posted pictures of your dinner or whatever you were doing and that was it and they were bad pictures oh my photo quality if I look back it's crazy to see where cameras have gone and like just everything has changed like everything's blurry in the beginning ones and I leave them because I'm purist Carrie we I am too we're purists that's right I left mine I wanted to go back to my first post but I think I'm pretty sure I took a picture of my TV. And yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I think I had a dog like or something was mine. But you know so what? That's that's what we did. And it's changed so much. So now it's all about algorithms, reels, stories. And I, I, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about where it's shifted to? It's just a totally different world now because you can actually monetize. You can have a, make it a business of people that are making doing big business on Instagram and TikTok. And I'm like the worst. I, I wouldn't even call myself an influencer. I'm the worst yeah, social like media influencer if you can nice even call me that because I don't even we'll like do I don't even do it anymore of, I'm so like yeah so this is my kid and my dog again you know options. I you wish I could go back to that in a way too where it was mm-hmm. about the picture it, it was about um you know you weren't worried about okay how many how many likes is this gonna get how many followers am I gonna gain because of this I really wish it went back to just and I do like Instagram because of the picture it's just a picture but there's so much to be gained from this and that's what's so exciting about our guest today is that we're really diving into that kind of business aspect of it and how you can make money on Instagram, how you can be a part of this algorithm and how you can really monetize and and still have fun while doing it because that's the whole point of social media, right? Yeah, to have fun, to bring good into the world, to spread kindness, which is still possible and people are still doing it, so that's a good thing. And Alora interviewed Maya Nicole. She's an Instagram expert and business coach. She's talking about the creators and what they can expect for 2023 and I'm for the best grow your account. Should we just give her a listen? Let's do it. Do you think she can teach some old ladies yeah, some new tricks. Help us. Smoothies, acai bowls, grain bowls, and salads, and a bunch of different flavor profiles. We've got Thai, we've got Korean. We've got I am Mexican. here, we've and I am so excited. I am talking to Maya Nicole. She so is an really Instagram nice expert you make, you make and a business okay, coach. Tell us the Truly, this woman knows yes. everything okay, so, when it comes um, to growing on Instagram. Maya, thanks so much for calling in. Thank you so much for having me on. Really so honestly, this is the question that's on everyone's mind. Whether you have a business, so whether you work for a company, one, whether you else, are trying to become an influencer, awesome. everyone, um, so at least come into our store some point in their life, I swear, ask themselves, Sandy, how do I grow get on Instagram? So I guess my first question for you, Maya, is can people still grow on Instagram or is it too late? Be honest with us. Good question. So this is actually Really, so the question that started my entire fitness companies on to do Instagram, second so I love Saturdays this every single so month, to give some background on this, in in Sandy, May of 2021, I asked myself with the same bar. question. So I said, go to is it possible for people to, to still spot. grow oh, amazing. on Instagram, and make sure and get lunch and dinner and all the things right? at Chris so Green? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really, thanks so much for all this healthy yumminess. We are so excited that you are here. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you as well. They just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but smaller accounts well, what about us? Like, it's almost like a a different realm on Instagram from like, 